Hello, welcome back to another episode from Pale Horse Survival and Tactical. I'm Bill, and what we're looking at here, this huge field here. I was driving along and I thought, wow, look at all that mustard. So I got out and I checked it out, and this is not mustard. I thought I'd do a quick video here, uh, another uh, addition to the uh, Wild Edible and uh, Medicinal Botanical uh, series. I want to do another video and add it to the uh, channel. I apologize for the uh, the wind noise here. A little windy out here. So I got up here and I started looking at this. And uh, what this plant is, it is a cousin of mustard. Mustard uh, leaves are on leaf petioles, in other words, little uh, little uh, leaf stalks that come off of the main stem. These leaves, if you look at the leaves, the bases of these leaves clasp the stem, the same as sow thistle, uh, Sonchus. And uh, I actually had to look this up. I knew it was edible. It took me a few minutes to look it up and positively identify this. These are, uh, this plant is known as rapeseed. Uh, rapeseed used to be used as a cooking oil. It was outlawed in the, by the FDA in 1956 because of the toxins. And in the 70s, uh, they managed to genetically mutate the rapeseed plant, and they produced a plant called uh, canola. And the seeds of the canola plant produced the canola oil. Uh, there's no way to tell the difference between uh, the uh, rapeseed plant and uh, the canola plant. The, uh, both are edible. The uh, toxins in the rapeseed will be found in the seed. So uh, all parts of this, uh, this plant here is uh, edible. The, uh, the best parts are the flowers. And the flowers actually have a pretty pleasant taste. They're four petaled. You can eat them uh, raw. And the leaves are also uh, also edible and they actually taste pretty good. They have a very pleasant green taste. Uh, this plant uh, belongs to the genus known as Brassica. It's a Latin word. Uh, and Brassica is also the genus that uh, mustard belongs to. Uh, these leaves, uh, even though this is a cousin of mustard, it's not hot. They have a very pleasant uh, green uh, taste to them. So they're not spicy or hot like a mustard uh, leaf would be. And the flowers have a very pleasant, uh, almost kind of a sweet taste to them. They're actually not bad at all. And uh, this is a cruciferous plant. Belongs to the uh, uh, the same family as cruciferous uh, vegetables. That would include uh, everything in the Brassica genus. The uh, term cruciferous uh, denotes plants that are in the cabbage family. And uh, mustard, uh, canola, rapeseed, uh, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, kale, and of course cabbage, obviously. Uh, to name a few, are all uh, belong to the same genus Brassica, or uh, the uh, cruciferous uh, vegetable family. But there is a absolute ton of this out here. I mean, it is just growing everywhere. So get out there and uh, learn some uh, learn some wild edible and uh, medicinal botanicals and. Uh, and uh, don't just identify them, sample some of these. You know, it's, uh, it's like shaking hands with somebody and learning their name and getting to know them. And, and that way, the, the, uh, once you do that, <coughs> you, it, it's no longer a stranger. You ingest some of it into you and it becomes, uh, it becomes a part of you and you're, you're, uh, you uh, develop an intimate relationship with it, and then when you're out there and you see the wild edibles, you've already you already know that you already know that plant, and you you've uh, you've sampled it. I don't see any mustard. I believe this is all Brazica. There's one over 
here that I wanted to come over and look at. Nope, this is also, I've seen the large leaves here, but this is also uh, canola or rapeseed. You can see the uh, base of the leaves clasp around the, around the main stem here. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did making it for you. Please like, subscribe, and share, and uh, check out my channel. I've got a ton of wild edible, medicinal, botanical videos, identifications, uses, uh, and uh, a lot of primitive fire videos, and uh, a lot of upcoming videos also uh, I'm going to be doing, uh, adding to the channel this year. So. Everybody have a great day or evening, depending on where you're located, and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.